Hi, welcome to Child's View. Before we get started, I wanted to just give you a special message and let you know that we will be airing new videos every other week, not every week because we're very busy ladies and we found it's really tough to video um, all the time. However, thank you for watching our videos. We really appreciate it and for tuning in and su subscribing. <laughs> also following us on Child's, on Child's View uh, Instagram. Thank you. Okay, so I'm Bernadette Towns and this is Becky Roth and Sharon Brown and we are happy to be with you today. And today we have a special guest. Her name is Christina uh, Perez and she's gonna be talking about her son and their journey um, with autism. So welcome, Christina. It's nice to have you today. So tell us a little bit about um, how you first uh, diagnosed your son and, and how that process went. Um, well, we first, um, comparing them to our other first or two other children, we could see differences between our older and then him. We noticed um, that he was a little more distant. He was he wouldn't come around like the other kids would come around. He wasn't really affectionate like the other kids were affectionate. He would like to lay on the floor with his blanket, hmm. and that was it. And so we could see differences. We really didn't know what it was at first. We just thought it was he was delayed. He was delayed in his speech, or he was um, he, he was played he, differently. You said. Yeah, he would yeah. play differently. He he arranged his toys differently than my old my other two kids did, and so we didn't really know what he had, or it, it, he had a diagnosis of autism till my husband had seen it on the TV um, during Autism Awareness Month, and they kind of gave, you know. So they said what it was and signs to look for and oh. we noticed signs that he, you know that he we noticed that he had some signs of autism my right. husband did and so he told me and then from there we went to research to see if this was something that he had so we could help him awesome so did you then take him to like a doctor or to a school to get him actually officially diagnosed yeah we had to take him to a neurologist oh and the oh. neurologist is the one who diagnosed him with autism Oh, here yeah. uh, locally in Big Locally, Oh, yes. okay. Yes. What was the process like? Was it long? No, it wasn't long. He, he, he took him into a room and then he just played with him. Mm -hmm. he, even though he couldn't talk at that age, he, you know, he tried to talk to him and he would see how m my son would just, Got it. you know, turn ignore away. him, turn away. And mm -hmm. so he um, had him play with toys and just observed him. Oh. And then from there, he made his diagnosis that he had autism. Wow. Yeah. So at, at that moment, um, how did you feel personally? Did you feel as, as the mom? Because yeah. I know I've spoken with other moms and there always seems to be some possibly underlying guilt feeling. Did mm. you, did you have any guilt feeling at all? I didn't have any guilt. Um, I think my main feeling was sadness okay. with just what he would be receiving from people who didn't either know what autism was or couldn't we deal understand. with understand somebody with autism how he would get rejected if he would sure and just yeah. all that he would receive from others right was i think what hurt well not hurt but was my main concern right yeah, right exactly. right and That's when the rest right. of your family um your extended family found out how was their reaction they were positive you know they were positive um just saying okay this is what he has now we're on our journey to get him all the help that he needs so he can succeed so he can um accomplish um or meet them milestones in his life mm -hmm. and so good fabulous support system mm -hmm. many people don't have that and we yes. noticed that that makes oh, a difference yes. a yes, huge makes difference, a difference. So what was the journey like getting him in school once? Cause he's, how old is he now? 12. He's 12, okay. So now he's school age. So how was that? What was that process like? It was, um, it was, it was easy. Um, the people who helped him get him into a class that would benefit him um, has, has been easy. We haven't really had much, um, well, we've had some, you know, challenges along the way, but first getting him into that preschool class was was easy he had a teacher that was really had that love for kids with special needs so when you have those teachers that have that love for special needs they they just succeed they su excel and he's got came a long way oh and really he's, yeah he's doing real good yes i know i noticed the changes in him yeah. even over the past few years he's he's a lot more with his emotional and social skills yeah he oh, has yeah. improved he's a lot along, yeah 
So how did you choose the school? So, I mean, did you look your, you know, for yourself or did somebody kind of guide you? Did the doctor? They guided us. us. The okay. school district that we were in, we had a, a meeting and they um, directed us to a school in Bakersfield because at the time we weren't living in Bakersfield, but they um, told us about a school in Bakersfield that had um, success with kids because um, I mean, he was only three, um, three at the time. Mm -hmm. So when he started, he was about four. They got him in as early as they could so they could have those extra years mm -hmm. before he went into preschool to right. help him or get, try to get him to where he needs to be exactly. or should be. Nice. And so, um, yeah, they are the ones who directed us. Nice. Sometimes it, it's that, that early intervention that yes, sets them up for success difference. at 12. That if you had that intervention big, at yeah. three, four. Yeah. yeah. Earlier yeah. the better, yeah. absolutely. And whether it's at home, somebody coming into your home to support you, which ABA some families therapy. have. Yep. Yes, that's yes. what he had. He oh, got nice. ABA therapy. They came into the home and they would um, help him. And that was a very, um, that was good. That was a good program to have to come to our house and help him. So that started before he went into a classroom or was that at the same time? That was a little bit after oh, he okay. started. Um, so we yeah, got by the time, yeah, because nice. we had to get into a regional center and mm -hmm. then they're the ones who gave us numbers of mm -hmm. um, support groups or programs that could help him. And then we got that ABA therapy to come in. And, and then what about you him. and your husband? Did you, was there support for you? Is there a group that you joined that is a support group for parents of children with autistic They have tendencies? those. Mm -hmm. They have those groups that help with um, parents, but we ourselves weren't. In a group. Okay. Yeah, we didn't, but they do have those out there. So, Christina, what kind of advice would you give, like, if a, if there's a mom out there right now or a dad that, you know, think their child might be autistic? Um, what advice would you give them, you know, at, at the beginning of their journey? My advice would be to, if you see um, that your kid might have autism or you see there's something different, to go ahead and get it checked. Don't wait don't put it on hold because the earlier the better the earlier you can get people to come in and help if they do have autism the success in them actually um, getting to where they need to be is a lot easier it's a lot um so did you have any denial i did um i'm i i'm the one who had the denial and i think um it was just more with the fear you know the mm -hmm. fear of people treating my son differently the fear of him having to um, encounter um, rejection sure. or what might be um, was my biggest fear. And so, yeah, I cried, you know, and I didn't want to accept it at first, but mm -hmm. I knew if he was going to, if we were going to be able to um, get him the help he needed, I needed to accept it and then from there move on and try to get him the help that he needed. Good for you. Yeah. I'm very proud of you mm -hmm. for doing that. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, well, thank you for being so open and so willing to share your story because I know it's going to help others who are dealing with the same thing. And I know it's not easy. Everybody wants a normal child or mm -hmm. perfect child and, and nobody um, wants to. But understanding that there's help and there's different yeah. um, opportunities. If you embrace it and you begin to find that support, then then it can be a wonderful experience yeah, like you yours. And because your son's a beautiful little young man, you. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and because I know him, I can say you that. do. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, but I, you know, I think that it's important for parents to understand that the journey doesn't end when you find out something's right. wrong with right. your child. It continues right. and it, it can be a beautiful story. Yeah. So, so thank you. If our viewers are feeling that their children are maybe just a little different, you can tell sometimes you just have a feeling. You need to go get that checked out. Don't be yeah. afraid. Just go and do it. Yeah. Um, there's lots of supports out there for us. A lot of opportunities for children. A lot of opportunities for parents to grow with. Yeah. yeah. And Bernadette, yeah. can't we on our website put a lot of resources? Yes. Let's add some we resources. can add some resources. Yeah. I'll get some from yeah. you. And yes, we will add some resources resources for autism. Thank you for watching. Please join us on Instagram. Subscribe. And um, until uh, next two weeks, we'll see you again. Bye-bye.